Hey guys, Jess over here at Mercedes-Benz of Linden. We're bringing you a 2010 GLK 350 uh, for our YouTube and eBay page. I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick walk around video to just give you guys a general idea on uh, where we're going to be at on this thing. Had a chance to be able to uh, walk around, drive this car. Actually drives extremely well. 2010, as uh, you very well may know, is the first year of the GLK uh, 350. Debuted in the uh, Sex and the City uh, the movie. Uh, and has actually uh, turned out to be one of the hottest little pre-owned Mercedes-Benz uh, that we can get our hands on. This is going to be in the 040 black, so it is the solid black. This one's going to have the almond black in uh, MB Tech's interior in it. It's got the standard 19-inch wheels, uh, standard halogen headlights. We've got the nice uh, aggressive three-pointed star in the grill with the dual uh, the dual slat grills. And then the uh, daytime running uh, driving lights and the fog lights down on the down below. This car is equipped with a, it does have a clear bra that has already been put on the front of the vehicle. Uh, we did uh, bring this vehicle up to CPO type uh, requirements. We put a brand new set of uh, tires on this vehicle, uh, painted rocker moldings on the side. There are a couple of things as I walk around this vehicle that will, that will point out. Uh, it does have a, uh, a pretty good scratch uh, right here in the hood. I would say it's about uh, three inches long. It is fairly deep. I don't believe that one would be able to be buffed out. It also has a pretty good scratch right here on the side of the door that it was probably about 12 inches long. I don't believe that one would be, be able to be buffed out as well. So uh, 2010 GLK 350. It's got a little three and a half liter V6 in it, 268 horsepower. This one is gonna run through a seven speed automatic transmission. It will be an all wheel drive. As you can see the 4Matic back here on the back. And then obviously the GLK 350, 350 just uh, designating which engine is in this car. This particular vehicle is equipped with the Premium One package. So with the Premium One package, we'll have a power rear lift gate. Uh, and then you'll notice the uh, power button here. It's equipped with a cargo tray in the back already. Floor mats are extremely clean. The rear partition, 12 volt power outlet. We'll also have a nice 115 power outlet, just like what you have in the, in the house. So anytime the car's running, we can plug a laptop things like that in here. Uh, split folding rear seats so we can actually fold those down completely flat. We'll close this rear deck lid down. Uh, normal wear and tear on the back of the vehicle. Don't see anything uh, uh, anything super bad on the back of it. A couple little small scuffs on the rear bumper but something uh, that we would typically see loading and unloading uh, stuff in the back of the car. I don't see any uh, uh, curb rashing on any of the four wheels. Fuel door will be always on the the, dry, the passenger side of the vehicle. It's a safety feature for Mercedes-Benz. As we open up the rear doors, you take a look at the nice burl walnut wood trim. And again, we can see the accented, uh, that almond MB techs with the black door panels. Uh, also part of the P1 package, we will have the panorama roof. Uh, so the front half of the glass will slide up over the back half. And that sheer, she that sheer screen that you can see there will retract back into the middle. Taking a look at the passenger side front of the vehicle. One touch windows. Uh, I'll have pinch protection, lock and unlock. We will have an eight way power seat here on the passenger side seat. Uh, taking a look at that. Taking a look at the center console cup holders. Our command dial. Seven speed automatic transmission that's driver adaptive with touch shift. The nice color combination between the black, the almond beige, and the large portions of burl walnut wood trim. Dual zone climate control, uh, disc changer. This one actually has the uh, multimedia package in it. So we've got uh, the big seven inch high res screen with the navigation voice control. Really nice little car. LED turn signals built into the backs of the mirrors. Again, those have a clear bra material on the back of them as well. Automatic headlights, rain sensing wipers. Let's take a look at the uh, engine bay. Extremely clean. This car's actually got really good service records. Been very, very well taken care of. Again, taking a look at that three and a half liter V6. I know they cover it, not much to take a look at on that. Close this back down. And then finally, let's take a look at the uh, driver's side. So with the premium one package, uh, we pick up uh, a couple of items that are really nice. We get the uh, full 10-way power seat with the seat memories, power mirrors, the one-touch windows. We can actually open and close the rear hatch from the driver's side door. Taking a look at the dash and instrumentation, the driver's side seat, 
I don't see anything as far as any any kind of excess wear and tear on the interior of the car. It's actually immaculate. The previous owner's taken very good care of it. Uh, Multi-function steering wheel, uh, where we can toggle through our, our smaller display screen, our voice control buttons, telephone buttons. Taking a look at the dash here. Uh, digital display of how fast we're going. And there we are at 65,503 miles. Auto dimming mirrors. Again, just a really nice little car. This would actually be a really good car if you're looking for something to commute in. Uh, this little 3.5 liter V6 gets uh, relatively decent fuel mileage. Extremely safe car, awesome for the snow runs. Uh, any kind of uh, you know minor off-roading that you want to do, camping, uh, kayaking, canoeing, surfing, uh, anything like that. Also would be a great little uh, starter vehicle if this is going to be your first uh, Highline experience with a vehicle. These GOKs are uh, been a very good uh, rock solid vehicle or if it's something you want to put uh, your first time uh, driver in. Extremely safe and this would be a good one. Alright guys, well thank you so much for your time. We appreciate the opportunity uh, to own your business. If you, there's any questions that you guys might have, feel free to reach out to either Steve or myself. You can reach us uh, and we uh, look forward to we look forward to uh, working with you. Thanks, guys.